clean, clear and fast. That's how your millwork drawing should be. Today I'll show you exactly how to do it. Hi everyone, I am Krithika, an architecture illustrator and educator and I am here to simplify your design process using smart and easy to use digital tools. In today's video, I'll show you the best way to create millwork drawings for interior architecture using my favorite rayon design. We will create a full elevation with all the details, annotation and line weights. And the best part, it's fast, clean and super intuitive. By the end, you will have a drawing which is presentation ready and construction ready. Plus, I have added a free template link in the description so you can try this workflow yourself. Alright, let's dive in and start drawing. Let's open Rayon Design and here you can see that I have the kitchen millwork drawing. I will open it and here you will find the plan of an apartment. In today's video, I'll show you how to cut the section of the kitchen and the dining area. I will cut the section from the window looking towards the dining area and the TV console. Then we have the bar stools, bar table, the gas stove and the view towards the sink. So this is how I'm going to cut the section and I will show you everything step by step. Now. I will open the layer panel and here you can see I have created different layers for all the different elements of my plan. Now I will create a new layer, click on the plus icon and rename it as section walls. In this layer I will add all the walls of my section then I will create another layer and rename it as guidelines. Now. What I will do is go to the bottom toolbar, select the line tool. From the right hand side, make sure the stroke size is 0.05 and the line type is dashed. The color should be gray. Now simply just trace the guidelines for your walls and create the lines like this. I will take the guidelines for the furniture so that I can create my furniture quickly and easily. Now, let's extend the lines if needed. Then I will go to the layer panel and this time I will select the section walls layer. I will take the wall tool from the right hand side panel. Make sure the wall thickness is 0.4. The wall fill has hatch. The stroke size is 0.25 and the hatch color is gray. Simply just create the wall first click then second click you can see the distance the height of the wall is 2.57 meter now i will change the wall thickness to 0.11 and then i will create the horizontal ones which are the roof and the floor as you know the second wall this one has battens and insulation so i will not add hatch to this i will simply create the wall like this and then remove the hatch. Now I will take the rectangular tool and create a rectangle for my batten. Then I will add the cross using the line tool to show the section of the batten. Now what I will do is select the shapes and press shift to select more. Then right click on it and group them. Now I have created a group of these shapes. I can simply just copy and paste it. Use the command Ctrl plus C and Ctrl plus V to make the copy of it and then place it. I will add four battens according to the height of my wall. Then after that, I will again take the rectangular tool and create a rectangle like this to present the wall finish. Right now, it is dashed line. I'll go to the right hand side panel and change it to solid line. Now, here we have the wall detail. I will add the insulation layer to it. So simply what I will do is go to the toolbar, add a line between the battens and then from the right hand side panel, go to the stroke, click on the line type and choose the battened insulation line. You can adjust the scale according to your preference and add the line like this. Similarly, I'll copy paste it above and place it. You can stretch and adjust it according to the spacing of the wall. So here we have the insulation wall as well. 
the detail is ready now i'll focus on creating flooring for that i will go to the layer panel and create another layer rename it as flooring now i will take the rectangular tool from the toolbar and create a rectangle like this then stretch it adjust the height from the right hand side panel i will change the stroke type to solid and keep the stroke 0.05 to add the insulation layer i will take a line tool and add a line in between the rectangle like this then from the stroke panel on the right hand side i will change it to the batten insulation line reduce its scale and here we have the insulation layer for the flooring now again i will take the rectangular tool and create another rectangle like this i will adjust its height the stroke color and the type from the right hand side panel here we have it now in this i will add hatch go to the fill option from the right hand side and add hatch i will select the dashed oblique hatch and reduced its scale then change the hatch color as well again i will take the rectangular tool create another rectangle like this or i can simply make a copy of the bottom layer and just change the hatch i will add a vertical line or a square then increase the size to show the flooring material like this make sure the hatch color is gray and here we have the flooring as well now i will focus on the ceiling of the room from the layer panel i will create another layer named ceiling for creating the ceiling i will unhide the guidelines and leave a margin for the curtain in the ceiling but before that i will add a window on the left hand side wall i will go to the blocks and from my blocks i will drag drop my window then place it and adjust its height aligning to the left hand side of the wall now i will go to the toolbar and take the offset tool and create the offset for the curtain like this after that i will select the ceiling layer and from the toolbar the polygon lasso tool and start creating the ceiling like this the ceiling panel thickness will be 2 cm and i will create a closed loop like this for the kitchen ceiling which is 13 cm lower i will make a copy of the living area ceiling then i will create a guideline and take the offset of 13 cm using the offset tool from the toolbar i will select the ceiling drag and drop it then shape edit and simply adjust the points and arrange it This is very fast way to create it and that's why I really like rayon design. Then I will add the insulation layer for the ceiling. Simply create a line then on the right hand side change the stroke type battened insulation line adjust the scale and here we have it. I will repeat the same step for the living room ceiling change the stroke to battened and here we have it. Now I want to add more details to the ceiling. I want to show the fixing of the ceiling panel to the slab. I will use the line tool to create the ceiling channel, then the rectangular tool and adjust it. Now I will add a fill of gray to it. The stroke I'll keep black and I will group this channel and make copies and place them. To create multiple copies, I will go to the toolbar, select the shape then go to the array option i will enter the number of copies as 5 distance 1 meter then simply select the point and place them like this simply i will add the same channel to the kitchen ceiling i will adjust its scale first then select the shape go to the toolbar select the array option select one point change the number of copies to 3 distance to 1 meter and place them and here we have it Now you can see how detailed my section looks. I really like how easy it is to change the stroke thickness, stroke type and the colors. It makes our drawing look so much more detailed and better. Now I will create another layer and rename it as furniture. First of all, I will start by adding the kitchen furniture. I already know that this is where the bar stool goes and its height is 120 cm. I will create a rectangle like this then from the right hand side panel I will change the stroke type 
I will go to the fill option and this time I am going to add an image. So just click on the image option then click upload. If you have downloaded an image from internet, you can easily add it to Rayon file. I will add this wooden texture that I have downloaded and you can already see how beautiful it looks. After that, I will add kitchen counter. Its total height is 99 cm. So again, I'll use the polygon tool and keep the stroke solid in black. Let's start creating the counter height 99 cm. I will create a closed loop and here we have it. Now I will go to the fill option. This time I'll use a gray texture image instead of solid color. Then I will create the counter elevation for the sink area. First, I will take the line tool and draw the granite slab with the thickness of 3 cm. After that, I will add 2 cm line for the cabinet handles. Then I will create the toe gap for the cabinet and I will create the cabinets as well. For the divisions of the cabinet, I will use the offset tool and here we have all the divisions. For the handles, you can either use the zone tool or the polygon line tool to create the shape. Then go to the fill option and add grey color. Later on, you can delete the zone label. For the upper cabinets, I will use the offset tool to draw the line like this. Then again, I will use the offset tool to add the top line of the upper cabinet. I will add a line on the right hand side using the line tool then the offset it by 38 centimeters then i'll add a line again i will repeat the same step and add four shutters for the overhead cabinet after that i will add the kitchen hood i will use the polygon tool i will remove the fill add a stroke and place it above the stove then i will select the shape of the kitchen hood fill it with a gray color and that's done. Now, according to the design, above the bar stool has a vertical member. I will take the polygon tool, set the stroke to solid and create the shape. I will use the same fill as the bar counters. Then I will add a line with the thickness of 3 cm on the bar table. And now here we have it. Here you can see already the kitchen elevation is looking so much better. Now, I will go to the layer panel, select the furniture layer and create a shape to add material to the overhead cabinet. I will create a rectangle, apply a terrazzo texture to it. I will remove the stroke, organize the layer and place it below the line drawing. Now the material is applied. Next, I will add material to the walls. I will create another layer and rename it wall finish and drag it below other elements like furniture and decor. I will take the rectangular tool and draw a shape for the kitchen wall that's visible. Then from the fill option on the right hand side, I will upload marble texture image that I have downloaded from the internet. I will reduce its opacity and it already looks beautiful. To add more details, I will copy paste this layer again. Remove the image and instead add hatch. I will use 300 by 300 square, increase the scale to 2x, set the stroke to 0.05 and I will reduce its opacity to make it blend nicely with the kitchen aesthetic. Now for the living area, similarly, I will take the polygon tool, draw the shape. Then from the fill option on the right, I will choose the concrete texture and here we have it. I will quickly add all the elements in the living area using the same method, polyline tool, creating the offset, adding everything like TV, curtains, console, other materials. You can access the block library and here you will find chairs, tables and other elements. Just drag and drop and use them. I have also added some decorative elements to the section and after that I will annotate the section. I will go to the layer panel, create a new layer named annotation and from the toolbar, I will select the dimension tool. From the right hand side panel, you can adjust the font, stroke, dimension line, even customize the start and the end of the leader. You have so many options to personalize the annotation. I will add all the dimension and then move on to the labels. For labels, go to the toolbars and click on label tool. Just one click, then another click and your label appears. You can write your text, then from the right hand side panel, adjust the font, color 
and the properties. I will add all the labels and dimensions. I want to add more detail to it. So I will cut another section from here, this time from the sink including the overhead cabinet. So let's go to the library, search for annotation symbol with the section line. Here it is, just drag, drop and scale it. Adjust it using right click, transform, place it properly and now we have it. I will cut the section from here and one by one I will show you how to create this too. Now I will quickly create the wall, ceiling and the flooring. The steps are the same as the previous section. Next, I will go to the guidelines layer, create guidelines for the cabinets like this. It will make the process easier and faster. I will change them to dotted lines. Now, I will take the polygon tool with the solid black stroke and start creating the cabinets. First, the backboard with the thickness of 2 cm, I will draw it like this. Then I will create the countertop. It will be in granite and the thickness will be 3 cm. I will create a closed loop so I can add the hatch later. I will continue building the cabinet details line by line. Then I will create the front shutter. For the handle, I will add a groove so you can open it and by placing fingers inside it. I will also add a horizontal board on the top and the vertical one in the front of the handle. Then there's a toe gap. Hair of 8 cm, I'll offset and add a vertical board, then one horizontal board. Then I will start coloring. Front will be the darker grey and the back, I will use the same wooden texture. I will select the shapes, use the dropper tool to pick the previous material and add a stroke. Now I'll apply the grey night texture to the countertop using the right hand side panel. For the overhead cabinets, I will repeat the same process. I will add vertical and horizontal boards. The thickness is 36 cm, so I will offset accordingly and start placing the front, top and the bottom boards. I will also add an adjustable shelf. Now you can see the basic drawing of this section is ready. I will add all the annotations, dimensions, labels and small details to make the section come alive. From the Rayon Design Block Library, I will add baskets, kitchen elements like glasses, plates and even a sink using the dotted lines. And now, this is how my final drawing looks. And that's a wrap. Your millwork drawing is now ready clean, detailed and all done in Rayon Design. If you want to try this method, go ahead and grab the free drawing template linked in the description. Don't forget to like, subscribe and press the bell icon so you never miss a new tutorial. If you have any questions or ideas, drop them in the comment box and I would love to hear from you. Also, you can follow me on Instagram at the rate art icky for more design, tips and hacks. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Till then, happy designing. Bye-bye.